Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use Focal to make your own movies, TV shows, and any kind of video content you want. Go to focalml.com, create an account, and then create a new project. When you create a new project, you'll have three options to choose from. You can create from an idea, for instance, a movie about World War II. You can create from a script where you can plug in a book or a screenplay or something longer that you've written, and you can create from a blank project. I'll talk about all three of these options, starting with an idea. If you choose to create from an idea, you can simply type an idea and then click generate plot, which will generate a plot for you. You can choose the language that you want to use to generate the plot. And when the plot is done generating, you can either edit it directly in this text box, or if you don't like it, you can regenerate it by clicking regenerate, and you can also modify your prompt. Now, in this case, I'm quite happy with this, and so I would be happy to click continue. Now, to show you what script is like, if you go to script, you'll actually see basically the exact same thing as you would see when you create from an idea. The only difference is instead of generating a plot with a prompt, you can plug in your script on your own. So either way, these two things will end up with a script, and then you click continue. Here, you'll get to finalize some details before creating your project. You can choose a global style, which will apply to everything in your project. And you also get to see characters that have been generated. You can look at individual characters, modify them and regenerate them, and look at locations and items and regenerate them if you want. You can also assign voices. For instance, in this case, if I want Finn to have a particular male voice, I can choose that. And that voice will be used when Focal generates content for you later on. Finally, you need to split your plot into chapters. In this case, Focal defaults to 10 chapters, but if you don't like that, you can regenerate these 10, and you can also select the number of chapters you want to use. In this case, I read these 10 chapters, and they all look reasonable to me, and so I'm going to go ahead and create my project. Now, when you open your project like this, there are a bunch of different things you're going to be looking at. And the first thing I want to talk about is the three different ways to use the AI tool in Focal, which we call the Copilot, to create content for you. The first way is what you'll see blinking here when you open a new project, which is you can click on one of these chapters, which is now on your timeline. And when you click on this chapter, you'll see another button, or you can hit Command K or Control K if you're on Windows, and pull up this chat. Now this chat is essentially how you interact with the Focal AI, which we call again, Copilot. So here you can give instructions to the Copilot. And in this case, the instruction you are telling it is to adapt the chapter as is. And so I'm going to click generate and we'll see what happens. All right, so the Copilot has started generating images and audio. Unfortunately, this takes a little bit longer than we would like right now, but we're working on making it as fast as possible. Now you can see images and audio. And if you like what you see, you can click accept. If you don't like it, you can reject it. And you can also give follow up instructions. You might also notice that there's a toggle for uh, creating video instead of images. Creating video is very expensive in terms of credits. And so we only allow you to toggle this if you are subscribed, which you can do by clicking on the credits and then clicking upgrade. Now, in this case, I like what I see, and so I'm going to click Accept. And you'll notice that those images and audios ended up on the timeline. So that's the first way to use the Focal Copilot, where you click on a chapter and then click Generate and see what comes out of it. There are two other ways that I want to talk about. One of them is hinted at right here, which is Command K, which invokes the Copilot to insert. And so if you go anywhere on the timeline, you can click Command K, and that will again bring up the Copilot chat. So for instance, if I wanted to start the video with an image of the sun rising, I could type that, click generate, and then add it to the timeline. In this case, I won't actually go through with that. The third way to use the copilot is to select any number of items on the timeline. For instance, a single image or a group of images and some audio, and then again, hit command K or click the button and chat with the copilot. And here, for instance, you could give it instructions like make this nighttime, or you could do something like add more dialogue and do whatever you want and see what happens. 
So those are the three main ways to interact with the Focal Copilot. There are a bunch of other things you can do with Focal. As you see here, this is a standard video editor timeline, and so you can move individual images or audio around on the timeline. You can select a group and move it around, and you can watch it by going to any point and clicking play. It's like, and then watching your content play. You can move left and right, you can zoom in and out, and in general, you should interact with this the way you would interact with something like CapCut or Adobe Premiere. Now, on the left-hand side, there's a whole bunch of different options. And probably the most important one is this Create tab, where you will see both all of the things that have been created so far. So that includes images, audio, and video later on. And you'll see four buttons which will allow you to continue creating. In this case, for instance, if you wanted to create an image, you could click New Scene. New Speech will lead to Voice. New Sound will lead to a sound effect. And of course, Video will lead to creating video. If you want to create video, there are multiple ways to do that. One way is to come here, type a prompt, and plug in a starting image or starting video if you want to extend a video. And the most convenient way to do something is to click on a particular image on the timeline and then click animate. Speaking of which, anything on the timeline, there are a bunch of options that show up. If you click on it, for instance, you can animate an image, you can regenerate or retry any particular uh, audio or image on the timeline, and you can also choose to edit it, where you click edit, and you'll be brought into another chat-like interface where you can change a prompt or animate an image and go from there. And I would encourage you to explore all of these different ways of interacting with Focal. Now, to continue, there are a few more options here on the left, which we will go through. The style simply controls the global style that you set early on uh, when creating the project. Same with voices, same with characters and locations, and same with chapters. These are all things that you set up when you created the project, and you can revisit them here on the left if you choose to do so, but they are probably less critical. And so the Create tab we've already talked about, these four were already set, and the final one is Settings. In Settings, you can set Landscape or Portrait, and you can also choose the image model. You can choose the number of images generated per generation, and so that is how many images will be generated here. If you want to generate four at a time, that's fine. One at a time, that's fine. The only reason you would choose to do fewer is to save on credits. And you can also choose uh, your video model in settings. By default, we use Luma, but you can always choose Runway, Minimax, or Clean. If you want to see how you're using credits, you can come to this credits tab over here, where you'll see an exact breakdown of how many jobs you've run. For instance, Luma, Runway, Minimax, etc and you'll see how those credits are being used. And if you need more credits, you can always upgrade. Other things in the top right are the feedback button, which will let you give us some feedback, the chat button, which will let you chat with one of us, and uh, your account, and then the tutorial, which will link to, of course, this tutorial. And finally, if you are done and satisfied with your video, you will be able to come here, click export, and then view your final video. And so that's how to use Focal in a nutshell. And one last thing that I want to show you is if you create a new project and you choose to start from a blank project, that will simply give you a blank project without any of these chapters. And this is ideal for someone who doesn't want to use the Focal Copilot, someone who wants to just create images and then create video and make the content entirely on their own without any help. Typically, I only recommend this if you're relatively experienced and know what you're doing. So that's Focal, and if you have any questions, feel free to chat with us, we're very responsive, or send us an email at founders at focalml.com, and you can find that email address if you're curious on our landing page uh, if you scroll down. And looking forward to having you try Focal. Thanks very much for watching this video.